Well, good morning, everybody. I don't know if y'all remember or not, we planted these beets <clears throat> before we left on vacation. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see what we got. They are ready to go in the ground. I am going to put those outside today to harden off a little bit. It's been hot here. It was, I think, 103 here yesterday. And uh, it's, been, it's been pretty warm. So I'm going to have to kind of put these out maybe on the front porch. And, uh, but these are the solo beets. And uh, as you can see, they're doing quite well. <clears throat> I was worried about them because they got real spindly, excuse me, like this one here. Uh, <clears throat> but they've really come on. They're really doing good. That'll be a real good fall crop of beets, I believe. But today, <clears throat> we've got another thing we've got to get taken care of. The gardening's winding down, <clears throat> but it's not winding down that much. Let's let's go look, and I'll show you what, what we got to do today. Well, I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago, our friend the deer jumped the electric fence. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you what I did for that here in a minute. She jumped it and got into black eyed peas. But I want you to look at the black eyed peas on here. And that's what we've got to get done today. Just get these peas picked. Looks like we've got our need to cut him off. That's our sunflower that was wild in here. We're gonna pick these black eyed peas and I, I did stop the deer and I'm gonna show you how I stopped her. Uh, I think I've got some some video footage of her on the game camera. But uh, we're gonna pick these peas today and we're going to uh, show off a little deal I got. Looks like she may have gotten back in here again. Now that's pretty old. But uh, we're gonna pick them, but I wanna show you what I did to stop her. And I think it did stop her. Let's look at that. Here is my outer electric fence that I had up, and I guess she figured out how to jump it. But uh, you'll notice, smile, you're on candid camera. I did put that game camera up. But what I did was I did some reading and some research on this. And they say deer have problems with depth perception. So here's my outer fence. They say come three feet in and put another fence. They have problems judging distance. And so I put this inside fence in here all the way around the garden. And up till now, she has not got back in here. It's a doe, it's a big doe. Uh, I've got her on video and I'll, I'll try to share some of that video with you, but that's what I did. But uh, let's get these peas picked and uh, show you a little, little gadget I bought for that.
Well, we've sure had the pea crop this year. Big purple hull pea crop we had, and black eyed peas now. I got fall purple hulls coming up over there. We like them. Some of these has already turned brown. That's okay, we're gonna pressure cook them. We're gonna can them. 